I am here at the Spring Beer and Wine Festival with Steve Woolard, who, along with your parents 19 years ago, yeah. just started doing this in the convention center. No, we started at the dog track. And we were the only event that was ever at the dog track, so other than dogs racing. But, and it was a beautiful place, but we were there for four years. We went to the Expo Center. We opened up two of their brand new buildings year after year. That was a good spot, but then we came here 11 years ago, and this is our home. Wow. We love it here. It's 100,000 square feet. It's huge from the start. We only had 22 breweries at the very start. We only had a few vendors, and now look at it. We have 40 different breweries, 90 different beers. We have 26 wineries, nine distillers. We have a bunch of chocolatiers and cheese makers and all these great things from the Pacific Northwest that we get to uh, enjoy on Easter weekend. I love it. So every Easter weekend, this event happens. We're in Portland, we're at the convention center, and this is where the home is now yep. for the festival. And um, it's, you know, there's so many products that are made, and that's what our show is all about. Oregon Lifestyles is about people, places, and products that make Oregon so unique. Now, you also have some people from Washington because we're right next to Washington, but there's lots of food here. People can come in, um, they pay a small fee, and then you get tokens, right? And the tokens help you to take tastings? That's correct. You don't have to have the tokens. Other, th Most of these places will take your dollars, but it's real easy to have these. You spend them just like dollars, and you get tastes and samples. And you're right, we have Washington wineries. We have Washington products of like jams and nuts. And uh, yeah, the Pacific Northwest has a bounty of all these, so we just celebrate it here. Well, and it's easy to get here because we're on light rail. That is very important when you're taking samples of drinking. And you guys have some live entertainment? We do. We have some great bands. We have a cover band for Jimmy Buffett. So that's got to be fun to dance to, and the Parrot Heads will come out for that. We also have a fun run on Saturday morning. So we have a 9K and a 5K, and you get bunny ears, stops and starts right here. So when you come in after your big run, you get a mug of beer, and you're good to go, and some food. Perfect. Yeah. perfect. Well, thank you for taking time. I know you're busy. I know you've coordinated this whole thing and have been doing this for a while, it yeah. sounds like. So you know what you're doing, and there's a lot of wonderful things. So I hope people come out and, and see the event. Oh, yeah. This is a great, fun event for a lot of people. So I hope they show up. I mean. I like it. <laughs> the Spring Beer and Wine Festival right here at the Convention Center in Portland. Thank you, Steve. Well, thank you very much. It's great having you here, and why don't you guys go out and have a few tastes? We will. We definitely will do that. <laughs> here on Oregon Lifestyles. One token for a taste for four for a So, Cab Merlot Syrah. Yeah. Strict yeah, Cab in French. I like blends. You like blends? Yes, I Let's give it to you. You know what's nice about this? Oh, no. Way. Screw top, squeezy bottom. That is awesome. That is so great for picnics where you're not allowed to have glass or alcohol. <laughs> Just because it says no glass by the pool doesn't mean no wine by the pool. That's right. I love that. There you go. Come on in, sample. That is really good. Would you like to try some wine on tap? Yeah. Is it called a wine growler? That's what they're calling it now is a wine growler. They'll probably come up with their own name, but yeah. And then you'll be able to go into a restaurant and get your growler filled. It lasts for four months in a keg. So I don't know if you've been to a restaurant where you go to and maybe the bottle's been open for four days, you taste that wine and it it's literally leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Now it's kind of turned you off to that winery. The winemakers love that restaurants and bars are pouring it out of here. That's great. And so you guys are pouring wine out of a... Out of kegs. So out of a keg. Four different kegs. Well, I would love to take a sample. Please. I like red. Mm. Oh, that is lovely.